So the interest rates are skyrocketing in Canada. We all know that. And also we are all seeing that the prices are declining all across Ontario. So how is it impacting in Windsor, Ontario? So in this video, I'm going to share June 2022 market updates, you know, what's happening with specific numbers. And also at the end, I'll give my predictions on what it will look in the next coming three to four, six months. Stay tuned. Namaskar. Welcome back to my channel. This is Aditya Soma. If you're new here on this channel, I talk about real estate, you know, how I used real estate as a vehicle to achieve financial freedom. I talk about, you know, all the all my journey and also, you know, has my real estate agent career, you know, how I built a business that is making over a million dollars every year. So on that side, if you're new, so make sure to you know continue watch this. If you like it, hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button. I'm sorry to interrupt you on your video. I have a quick announcement, just 15, 20 seconds. I'm conducting a free webinar for real estate agents like you who wants to make six figure or seven figure income in this ever changing market. Because you know, right now, every listing is taking longer to sell every buyer is afraid to write an offer because interest rates are going up market is going to crash so how can you as a real estate agent make six figure seven figure income so that's what we're going to talk uh, in this webinar so make sure to click the link in the description a free webinar just for realtors like you make sure to share it with your friends i'll see you there so without any further ado, let me get into the June market update because, you know, we all know it's an interesting time period for real estate market because, you know, the, the activities are completely different from just two months ago. So let me jump on my screen to give you guys a visual data appearance as well, you know, because, you know, this probably you can see all this data by yourself as well. Do more analysis. If you're getting into um, buying an investment property or buying a first time home buyer or looking to sell, then this data will give you an idea especially if you're a Windsorite. So first of all, let me give you an overall view and then I'll get into each element. So first of all, like we are looking at the new listings on the market in June are up by 35% comparative to last year June. So that's a lot of listings. That means, you know, there is more inventory on the market. And then if we look at the properties sold, there are 545 comparative to last year we are down by 27.91%, which is a crazy number. That means the activities has gone up and the sales has gone down. So the number of properties sold reduced by 27%. And if we look at the price, because, you know, technically from these two elements, we can see that the demand has gone down. Again, you know, we all know one of the major reason is interest rates going up quickly. Um, and if we look at the average home price, so a good sign here, average home price comparative to last year, we are still up by 9%, 9.24%. So currently the average home price in Windsor is $607,704. So let's look at each individual elements, you know, listings and the sold data and the average home price, how it was last month, before last month, and you know, how much impacted from the peak time, right? So let me go on to the activities. So first of all, the market was very good until March. So in March, the market activities were 1051 listed, whereas now we have 1557 listed. Whereas if you look at go back even further in Jan, they were like 546. So generally in summer, we will have more listings and that's what happened even this year, but it's way more than last year. So last year at the same time in June, there were 1000 150 but now it's 1557 so up by 400 more listings so that means the buy if you're a buyer it's a great news because you have more inventory and if we go to the demand side the sales side because you know sales is what decides how many properties are selling how many buyers on the market so if we look at the the trend here in march the sold was 698 until March, the number of sales were up, like it was increasing every month. And from March, we have seen decline from 698 to 568 sold. And from April and May kind of stayed around the same 583. But 
for June, again, we saw a drop from 583 to 545. So if we compared with last year, this year, the last year, March, April, May, June, those summer times were in a very hot time. The sales were above 700, 756, 733, 723, 735. So this year we can clearly see the demand is going down. The price, the number of properties selling on the market are declining every month. So how is this impacting on the price? Let's look at the price compared by month by month. So here is the prices. So this month, the average home price in Windsor is 607, like I mentioned earlier, right? 607,704. But last month, the same average home price was 647,333. So that means approximately there is a drop of 40,000. So that means if, if we look at from the peak time, the peak, the highest average home price in Windsor ever was in March. March was 723,739 from that month till now. So from March till June, there is a decline. I did the percentage here. There is a decline of 16%. Yes, you heard it right. It's declined by 16%. And the numbers you see on here, the average prices in 2021. So in June, the average home price was 556,000. So that means if you bought a property last year, 2021, you're still up by 9% comparative to this year average home price. So what it tells you, right? Here's what right now, clearly in the market, we have more inventory, less buyers. So that's why we are seeing the prices to go down. So if you're a seller, if you want to sell the property, you got to be realistic because that's what happening. If you're not realistic, probably this is not the time for you to put your property on the market. So make sure to work with the you know, right realtor who can give you a clear data analysis because you know pricing becoming more and more important and the expectations also. So if you're not, if your expectations are not what the market value or less than the market value, because we have seen from last month, there is a drop of 40,000. So we are already now when I'm shooting this video, this is J July 5th. So maybe by the time I post it, July around 10th. So by this time, probably you would have seen another 1% or 2% decline. So every week there is a price drops. So, uh, you know, in order to avoid all the hustle, if you want to sell, make sure have a clear data from your realtor. And if you want to buy, it's a great opportunity. You know the data, how the market is you know, impacting. Again, many people ask me like, is it a good time to buy or not? In my opinion, as an investor, I would say this is an opportunity because we clearly see the prices are declining. If you clearly know what's market value right now, if you can bargain, then this is the time where you can get bargain prices because, you know, the sellers who are motivated, they want to sell. So especially people who cannot hold their mortgages because the interest rates are going up and there is a, another market, uh, the interest rate update will be coming in July on 13th, I believe. So if they increase by another 50 basis points or 70 or you know 100 basis points, they're talking about it. If they increase, maybe there will be sellers who cannot you know, withstand, cannot hold their mortgage. So they have to sell because they leveraged, they used for different purposes. So now they have to pay that off. So long story short, you can find opportunities. You got to just keep looking hard. You got to, you know, put your, and especially if you're a buyer, like want a long-term investment, this is even a great opportunity because you can find good solid properties where there is no, not much demand. So you can negotiate good prices on a good property in a good location. Before, for the last four or five years, it was very tough, but now it is possible. So just to summarize, um, I feel for next few months with the interest rates, until the interest rate keep going up, we can see this decline to continue because the inflation, we are still fighting with the inflation. Bank of Canada's, you know, fight back the inflation is by increasing the interest rates. So once the Bank of Canada stop increasing the rates, that's when we should stabilize market. Until then, we might see these declines to continue. So hope that is helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, if you got some information from this, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more updates like this one. See you.